I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury, or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. One less human to worry about. I've never seen one of Ranwalk's camps. Exactly as Madame Beaumont described. I won't rest until you're dead. Over here! I'll fuck you from shooting! Be glad to hear that. Huh. 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 Huh.
wonder who lives here. I do miss the bustle of business. Poor cousin. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing, and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? Thank you for passing. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Excuse me, did you say something about a Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Looks intriguing. Oh. Past the river, near the forest. I must be on the right track.
Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Bardo? What do you know of my brother? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But... but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! Sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Madolf! <laughs> <laughs>